hello guys welcome back to our channel welcome all of our new subscribers i'm so happy that you guys have joined our channel um it is my husband and i but it's mostly me because my husband works a lot but i will soon get him on some videos this is a faith-based channel um very positive we want to try to keep it that way um so thank you guys and welcome back any of my returning subscribers to this channel so on today's video guys it's going to be real short real quick um, I want to share with you guys who God is and what God stands for because I feel like there is so much stuff out there that is saying who God is and what they think God is and it's not true. Um, the question I always get, people are like, oh, well, God, um, God is so mean. Oh, why would God let this happen to me? You know what I mean? So... I want to answer those questions today. I want to answer those questions to you guys. Before we get into anything, just make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Um, so this is a word, guys, like for real. Real talk, I'm going to be like real transparent with you guys. Like, I really cannot stand when people be like, oh, why God let this happen to me? God doesn't let nothing happen to you. Or I get, is God punishing me? I'm here to let you know today that God does not punish no one. God do not punish no one. God will never send you nothing to harm you. God will never send you nothing to hurt you. God is a loving God. He is a caring God. God will forgive you 70 times, seven times. He doesn't care what type of sin you have done where you come from, what you've been through, how you look, how you talk, how you walk. God does not care about none of that. All, get, all God cares about is your heart. He cares about what's in your heart. And it's just so, it's so frustrating because this world has really made God, put this perception of God out there of, oh, bad stuff happened because of God, no, that's, that's that's false, it's not true. You do something, you have a consequence. So every decision you make has a consequence to it. And if that decision that you are making is a bad decision, you're going to see the result of it, which is gonna be a bad consequence, right? I feel like if you feed your spirit with godly things, if you're constantly worshiping, you're constantly praying, You're constantly making great decisions in your life. You're going to see the fruit of God, of that labor. You're going to see the fruit of that labor, that hard work, that humbleness, that patience that you have put in. You're going to see the fruit of your labor. And a lot of people get it twisted. They like to mock God. They like to um, say that God isn't real. Or people like to say, oh, how come I can't see him? God is a spirit. Holy spirit. He is a spirit that is inside of everyone. Every single person has the Holy Spirit inside of them. I don't care if you're a Satanist or if you this or that. Your Holy Spirit is in you. You just have to tap into it. Y'all, they have so many people out here that think they are not good enough for God's glory. They're not good enough for God's blessing. And that's a lie of the enemy. God gave every single person, when Jesus died on the cross, God gave every single person a gift. And that gift is the Holy Spirit. And a lot of people think that they are not worthy, that they don't deserve to have that, which you do. I'm here to tell you guys that you have to tap into it. Everyone has the Holy Spirit. You have to activate it. And the more you fast, the more you pray, the more you press in, 
you're going to begin to start to activate that Holy Spirit. You're going to start to do things that you never thought you'll be able to do. You're going to start thinking things that you never thought you'll be able to think. You'll start talking stuff. You'll be like, wow, where did that come from? The Holy Spirit. And you won't be following this culture anymore. That's why people don't like Jesus. They thought he was, they thought that he thought that he was better than anybody. And it really bothers me because people really take that narrative of God and the perception of what this world has said about God and they just run with it. And it's upsetting to me so I can imagine the pain that God has to feel, has to endure, knowing that his kids don't believe, don't trust, don't have faith. You know? But I'm here to tell you guys today that have faith in God, trust God with all your heart, believe, seek God with all your heart, Tap into the spirit. Press fast. Pr fast and prayer works. Fast and prayer works. The next video, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do a video on fasting. So if that's something that you guys are interested in, uh, just let me know. But y'all, this the end. I have nothing else to say. I told you guys this was gonna be short. I just wanted to basically just say, touch on little points, open your mind a little bit about um, who God is. Cause there are really a lot of people out there that just, that just blue, like you're green. Don't know a lot of stuff about God. And I just, I just want to change that, you know? So I have a freaking go for you guys. I want you guys to incorporate God, every single like, if you're a morning person, um, wake up before you get on social media and say, God, I thank you. God, I love you. And if you're a person at night, um, if you're a night person, then I also want you to pray before going to bed. Morning, wake up, pray. Night, pray, sleep. I challenge you guys to that. Amen.